Hello everyone, I am back, this time with a disc review of the Innova Dart, a putt and approach disc. In this video, I'm going to focus mostly on putting and approaches, but this disc, in my opinion, is better used as an approach and upshot disc rather than a putter. This compares favorably to other putters uh, as in terms of being an overstable putter, but it's a straight flying approach disc, and I think that's where the strength of this, this disc lies. So I have five discs with me, and these are in three different plastics. The first plastic type that I have is DX plastic, which is the base plastic that Innova provides. It's the least expensive and least durable option. Uh, the next option we have is R-Pro, which is a mid-grade plastic, which is very grippy, but relatively soft. And then last but not least, I have two of these in XT plastic, which is also a mid-grade plastic, very uh, comparable to R-Pro, but a little bit tougher, a little more durable, and uh, but not as grippy. This is an underrated disc in my opinion. It is used uh, very rarely in the professional scene. Very few professional disc golfers use it. I think this is more popular in the amateur and recreational uh, disc golfer uh, scene. And uh, for a novice like myself, I've used this a lot in the past. In fact, the very first ones I bought were these two in DX plastic in uh, 2018. And these were the actual very first approach discs that I've ever purchased. Uh, and uh, the second putter, second and third putter, that I purchased after my uh, AVR Classic. And uh, I actually like these discs in terms of providing me a straight flight when I throw them short distances. And I think that's why these uh, are a bit underrated because they're very accurate and uh, very straight flying, which is something not a lot of discs do very well. A lot of people tend to gravitate towards overstable discs because they tend to compensate for the mistakes they make when they throw. Um, and understable discs tend to be not preferred very often except for rollers and certain types of escape shots um, and maybe to practice touch. Uh, this, I think, uh, can provide a role for both, but I think its most admirable trait is its straight flying at short distances, say 100, 150 feet, and I hope to show you some of that in this video. The only pro disc golfer that I know offhand that uses this is Nate Sexton. Uh, pretty much everyone else gravitates to other, other uh, discs like the AVR X3 or the Zone or you know even mid-ranges like the Truth and so forth from different manufacturers. They tend to like overstable to uh, very overstable uh, putters and mid-ranges to sort of be very trusty as they throw it uh, rel relatively far. In my opinion, this is a disc that best works in the, uh, say, 70 to 170 foot range. And uh, for me, especially the way I throw, they've mostly been viable in the 120 foot and in uh, range. And I tend to only use these outside circle two. So you know, roughly 70 feet and beyond is when I use these. And when I do practice here in my side yard, uh, with approach discs, uh, this is one of the discs that I would practice with simply because I have about 100 feet that I can use in the side yard and this allows me to shape shots and uh, uh, I really like that in a putter that allows me to sort of pick and choose what uh, angle I'm going to throw it at and allow it to uh, have that range of uh, flight paths. When you have an overstable or a very overstable putter, it's a lot harder to get the range of flight paths. Most people tend to get straight to straight with a hard fade or hyzers. Not a lot of people focus on Anheuser too much with overstable or very overstable discs unless they want a certain type of panning effect when they're down there. This is great for rollers as well as other types of throws that allow you to have it turn, maybe turn later in the flight or maybe even turn earlier in the flight based on how you're going to throw it. And uh, that uh, allows this to be very useful for getting around certain corners if you can't, you know, use a, a sidearm. And in my opinion, the level of stability based on plastic usually is as follows. The dart is typically the least uh, durable and the least stable plastic type. R-Pro, despite being very uh, tough, is soft and is also uh, somewhat understable compared to something more like an XT dart 
or a star dart, or even in some cases a champion dart. Those will be the most stable plastic types. And while I've not personally experienced Echo Star, I realize that is a plastic variant that uh, the dart has, has uh, come out in. Uh, that would also be one of your more understable types of plastics. But I will say in my experience, for the most of the times that I've used this, which is 100 feet and in, maybe 120 feet or so, away from the basket or from away where uh, the place that I would like the disc to land. Um, these all fly roughly the same. This is the disc that I used. In other words, I bought these two discs, uh, this one for one of my sons and this one for myself. And uh, I used this for a good year, uh, my first year playing disc golf. And it hit a number of trees and I've used it a little bit over time with the usual play of disc golf, etc. And this is so, I would say somewhat flippy, somewhat less stable, but it is not dramatically less stable than these two in XT plastic uh, at roughly 100 feet or so, and that's something that I intend to show you today. Now I'm going to show you the most used dart of the five that I'll be showing today, my white DX putter. As you can see, it's worn in a little bit, and the plastic is somewhat stiff yet grippy. Now here is Sean's R Pro Dart, and you can see it's also been used a bit, and it's a bit softer, as well as even more grippy than the DX plastic. Lastly, here is Sean's new XT Dart, which is starting to show some use, but is a bit more sturdy than the DX and R Pro Darts. So that's enough with the pretense. Now it's time to show some example putts and some example short range throws. These next clips will be a comparison between five Innova AVR putters in DX plastic that are all beaten in with the five darts of DX, R Pro, and XT plastic types. These are only the successful putts at 33 feet or 10 meters and I'll show only them to demonstrate what made putts look like with the AVR and then the dart putters. You can tell there isn't much of a difference at this range between the two putter types. It's more a matter of feel in the hand than anything else. The dart is very domey. It'll feel different than a lot of other putters that are used for putting, which is why I think it's better as a throwing putter. The dart is somewhat more stable at shorter distances than neutral two-speed putters with thinner rims. You can see with my throws, there's a bit of wobble, which is even more pronounced with my forehand throws.
you can also see that at least up to 100 feet there's no dramatic difference between any of the darts from the most used DX putter in white to the brand new red XT putter. Beyond 150 feet the dart requires a bit of touch but not a lot of power. It's easier than you think to propel it forward than a typical putting putter requires. Nice one, Sean. Let's go. Good job, Birdie. There we go. Still too much power. Yeah. Oh, good job. Two birdies in a row. Hell uh, yeah, I'll take it. There we go. That's, That's our best throw of the day. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. There we go. Finally. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yay. All right. Nice one. Story of my life. There you go. Finally. <laughs> that wraps up my in-depth review of the Innova Dart Putter. I really think this disc shines as an approach disc. The Dart is not a very torque or power resistant disc. It's easy enough to overpower it and force it to turn in flight. As such, it's a great diagnostic tool for practicing upshots. The rim thickness is comparable to some four-speed mid-ranges, and it's a smaller diameter disc. You could easily confuse it as a mid-range, though. I would call this a short-range throwing putter. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share if you'd like others to check out my channel. And lastly, if you haven't seen it yet, look for our Innova Dart challenges. There's two of them, and there'll be a link to below, uh, down below so you can see how this disc throws and puts in two different full rounds on two different nine hole courses by Sean and I several months apart. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.